Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's game night tonight, y'all, at Shanina Marie's channel. Um, hopefully my name gets called so I can get my revenge on the lady with the sunflower. But today, today is the big day, y'all. Well, no, tomorrow is the big day. Sorry. Tomorrow, August 20th, Tony the Closer is rolling up on Jay Morrison's property in protest of paying these people back their money, including himself. I thought that, and y'all didn't fact check me or nothing, I thought that, that Tulsa Real Estate, no, the Legacy Center, was in Oklahoma because his focus was always on Tulsa. But that was just one of his failed ass projects that probably never was gonna happen. Oh y'all, I ooh, when I when I sat here and dug my, my heels into this shit, I was like, you got a center, you building a center way in Atlanta is where it's at. Supposedly, you got and he got everybody to pay his ass. Y'all are some dumb ass people. He got everybody to donate, no, to invest. He he used the word invest, but y'all ass is donated to him. You know, um, oh, I wish I could finesse. I ain't even like that, but I would have. I would. You idiots! I wish all of y'all were a part of my life, and I could finesse the hell out of y'all for a few years, and then only give you forty dollars <laughs> back, like. Y'all the reason he doing this shit. Cause y'all dumb asses keep sending his ass money. I feel off a hope in a fucking prayer. Like, ooh, I'm, let me stop. But, so he got this center in Atlanta. Everybody know Atlanta's home of the scammers, baby. Everybody know that. Like this dude say on YouTube, um, Atlanta got the most $50,000 a year millionaires he's seen in his life. Or millionaires that make $50,000 a year that he's seen in his life. So, y'all y'all ain't doing, Atlanta is full of, full of stunners, full of fronters, full of people that just faking it till they make it out here, just ring shit. People in Atlanta be boosting and <laughs> fucking ring purses and taking, like Jay Morrison, wearing suits from Neiman's for videos uh, to, to put his little real estate stuff up and then going and returning it, keeping the tag in it. Like, that is what they do down there. And oh my God, I had no idea y'all asses believed in that. I had no idea y'all was this dumb. But anyway, I don't want to make people feel, I don't want to victimize the victim and make people feel so bad for throwing their money out there. It's just $500, right? But you're supposed to get $40 a year. I heard he bumped it up to 8% now, you know, so it was 5%. I heard he bumped it up to 8% because he still has yet in the third year to return uh, on people's investment. Anyway, Jay, I know you're going to see this because you, um, you're you narcissistic. So you're going to look this up. You're going to see it. Um, you look up your name every damn day. You and your wife probably over there just trying to do all kinds of damage control. But, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna need you to know this, baby. When you put your name on an event that promises a $100,000 giveaway, in which you are responsible for half of that, which is $50,000, I'm gonna need you to know that you're still responsible for it if you back the hell out. Like, there's advertisement out there. What don't you understand about that? Why do you think Tony, you don't owe Tony no money on that damn giveaway? And sitting here trying to blast him for not paying the girl or whoever the person was the full amount. Like, you ain't paid your people back. They full $40. So, you out here doing the same thing, fam. And so, if you put your name on something you and you decide you, don't, you no longer want to be a part of it, you still are responsible for the promise you made, especially when you out on the shade room advertising and, and all these other ads and shit on Facebook, all these social media platforms, you sucking people in to make them think that, oh, I can be like this or I can wear rented suits from Neiman's and drive rented Rolls Royces. And so... You played the game very well, but I want to see you. I want to see how you get out of this. I want to see how you get out of this. 
But I don't know what the hell make you think you are not responsible to pay half of the money for some shit that you advertise. I don't care if you pulled out two years before, nigga. You, you still owe that. And we just gonna do real talk right now. You still owe that. Case in point. If you go on a girl's trip, like I do, and, um, me and my girls before COVID, we would travel. We travel five times a year. Um. <clears throat> If you can't make it, but you done already paid your portion of it and everything like that, you're going to take some L somewhere because you ruined the whole trip for everybody if you don't adhere to what you agreed upon in the beginning. Now, there are certain circumstances where we're like, no, nah, girl, you good. We got you. We going to, you know, just, you know, cut you out and then we'll just uh, up, our, up our portions. But sometimes we like, no. I can't make it. I was supposed to go. That's on me. Y'all have have a good time. That's how they go down. But you, you Atlanta scamming, backwood ass, deal making people who can't just live a regular life like the rest of us. Got a stunt in front out here and put on for the people. Y'all can't, y'all can't take any losses out here because you spread too thin trying to make people believe something that's not even true like you renting houses and <laughs> man you know what i'm proud of tony for um taking the initiative to speak on the behalf of the people i'm proud of tony for being the, the uh the black messiah of this whole movement i think it's very necessary i'm disappointed in the people who sit here and believe this stuff because if you don't see somebody advertising on real platforms if I if you only pop up on DJ Vlad Breakfast Club and is it in Shade Room you already on some more shit you already that screams fraud that scream, screams like funny something ain't clean with this you don't need to do it because you're not you're not being vetted by people who have a, um, a respectable reputation you are being vetted <laughs> by the homie like it's all kind of people just trying to get money like you shade room is like this if you pay me i'm gonna throw you on my page give me seven grand i'm gonna run your run your post which is not a lot by the way but yeah, give me seven grand to uh, advertise, and I'm going to run your post. And that's it. That ain't no, oh, you know, we're a reputable company. Before I put you out here, um, I need to go, you know, do some research on you, see what you're about. Like, no. And for him, Jay, you know what? You get everything you deserve because you pulling on the heartstrings of black people. How dare you? Speak about Tulsa, Oklahoma and rebuilding Black Wall Street as a means to gain capital. You trash. You trash for that. Like, you got enough money out here. Like, your little party promoting and stuff like that, that could have made you enough money. But what it is, is you greedy. You're not, it's not good enough for you to have, you know, go drive your damn Range Rover like I do. Like, everybody and their mama drop their jaws in my damn car. Like, go, go drive you you know, the, the newest whatever sports car they got out, you know, like, go, you you can floss on a regular level. You don't have to, you you don't have to put on like that, like, and then on, on off the backs of people, like, how dare you use the pain and agony of the people who came before us to sell a pipe dream to people? Like, you are so trash, and I'm, I'm happy for Tony, um, it's going to work out for you. You you get, you get going to get what you deserve. And even if you don't, and like he said, it ain't even about the money. But you're going to get what you deserve. You gonna, you're going to get, if you don't get a return, something better is going to come to you. Because the universe will always, always return good. Always. I believe that because that's the way I live my life and I've seen it. And so, Jay is, is getting what he deserved because he trashed. And now everybody airing his ass out because he what he did. See, he had a lot of people that uh, go by street code. So what he did was he knew, you know what I mean? That well, he thought that things weren't gonna, you know, 
get get out because dudes from the street don't talk like that. But there's a time, and, and now now is the time where street dudes is you know they waking up and breaking code on fraud fraud a n words like you, just like you. They not letting y'all make it no more out here. So you chasing these celebrities trying to rub show. That's another thing. You a fanboy. Like, I can't stand when people ride off the backs of, oh, I know this person, I know that person. They rub his shoulders and take your pictures like, th you know, like, who? These people ain't posting you. Why are you riding them? Just so you can say you affiliated with somebody. And, if, and even if you do get a picture with them, that don't mean you know them. Like, do you know how many uh, celebrities take pictures with people out in, um, in airports and in malls? You know what? I'm, go, I'm, I'm looking and I'm watching tomorrow on the 20th. I'm looking and I'm watching all day long. All day long. Because I know I know this is going to be big. I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see Tony actually, you know, see through his project, what he's actually doing to this man. Um, I can't wait to continue to hear all of the stories about how people have been um, taken advantage of by this man and his antics and um yeah i i wish you all the best tony do you thank you for speaking up for people who are dumb enough to give somebody money <laughs> off of social media is, is he he just like a damn preacher you know like man i'm so over time but yeah he just like a preacher and this is why i don't fool with church right now because they'll take that money up, take that money up every week, and nothing changes. You know, they get a they get a salary. Like Jay, how how the hell you gonna pay yourself out of a fund that's not making money? How are you paying a salary, sir? You don't deserve a salary because you ain't out there doing what you're supposed to do. You ain't out there working and grinding. You out there kissing ass to celebrities and trying to get pictures and shit to floss out on the internet. You ain't worried about no Tulsa and rebuilding nothing. That shit ain't gonna never go up. And I could have told you that. It ain't gonna never go up. And everybody needs to stop mentioning Tulsa. It's over. It's done. It, it's burnt down years, years ago. The people in Tulsa are not rebuilding it. What make you think you about to show your little ass up and throw up a whole town? Get out of here. Why? Because the land cheap? But what are you gonna do? Like, what, what's out there for people once they get out there? Nothing. Nothing. It's not that economy can't sustain an influx of people. So what is you what are you trying to do? Get a whole bunch of people to what migrate to an area that's under pop I mean under yeah, it can't service the population. Is that what you're trying to do? And you already know. So you're gonna put other people in a bad situation to begin with. Cause if you build a town and you got a whole bunch of people coming there, but there are no jobs, they're not, you know, grocery stores, like you have to have a community to go with this town of people that are that have resources you can't just go throw up a town like y'all so damn dumb y'all dumb y'all dumb y'all dumb anyway i've been on here way too long i'm angry i'm angry i it boils me when little dudes like this get out here flossing and just out here just trying to be something that they're not because they're too good for regular life so you're fraud you're trash and um uh, again shout out to tony i can't wait to uh, see what happens all right y'all see you tomorrow bye